Hey everyone, in this series of tutorials, I'm going to show you how to create another look from the Bird by Gully Music video. And in this series, I'm going to show you how to recreate what I'm going to call the spaceship look. So if you watch the previous series of tutorials that I did on creating the woods look, this first tutorial is going to feel very familiar. But after that, we're going to get into some different techniques that I didn't show you in the previous series of tutorials. Not just because we're creating a different look, but also because this look required using the qualifiers quite heavily. And I've also chosen a clip from the music video that required some basic compositing to be done in DaVinci Resolve using the alpha output. So the first thing that we need to do, as I did in my last tutorial, is set up our project settings. So I'm going to click on the gear icon here to do that. And I need to change my timeline resolution up here in my master project settings. So I'm going to change that to customized. And the custom resolution that I'm using for this project is 1280 by 545. The next thing I'm going to change, uh, I'm going to switch my color science to ASUS. And then in my lookup tables, I'm going to set my input device transform to Cinema DNG and my output device transform to Rec 709. And in image scaling, I'm going to change this to center crop with no resizing and hit apply. Now that I've set up my project, I'm ready to use my first node to do my color grading and also to resize my image. So to resize my image, I go into the sizing pane here. So the first thing I'm going to do is zoom out. And then I'm going to adjust my pan and tilt until I'm happy with the image composition. And as I'm adjusting the pan of my image, I'm realizing that I want the image to be further frame left than it will actually allow me to be because the shot doesn't continue past where I want this image to be framed. So I'm just going to put the image where I want it, knowing that at some point I'm going to need to do some compositing to extend the spaceship wall here and fill in this empty black space. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this series of tutorials. But for right now, we'll just leave it as is, knowing that we're going to fill it in later. And the next thing to do is to just set my exposure and adjust my color balance. And to do that, I'm going to use my primary controls. And the first thing I'm going to do is bring my gain up. Then I'm going to bring my lift down. And I'm also going to adjust my gamma just a little bit. And that looks like a pretty good starting point for the exposure. Now, the key to this look was maintaining sort of the blue of the background along with the warmth of the singer's face. And to achieve that look, I basically just offset the red channel and then made some minor adjustments to the lift, gamma, and gain to balance out the overall image. So to offset the red channel, all I did was go into this offset slider and I just pulled the red channel down. And once I did that, I needed to make some adjustments to the lift so that the red information wasn't being totally crushed out. And so I just brought the lift up. And then I just made a few more adjustments to get the color balance where I wanted it. And that looks pretty good for my initial color balance. And if we take a quick look at the before and the after, you can see it's quite a dramatic change from where we started to where we are now. And that completes the color grading and resizing in the first node. Next, I'm going to add another node and use the qualifier to isolate the highlights in our singer's face so we can make some adjustments there. And that's what I'm going to show you how to do in the next video.